In today's video, I'm going to give you a full tutorial on how to use Excalidraw in Obsidian. So before I get into the video, I just want to say make sure you watch the video the whole way through. And this is the best way to get a great understanding of how it all works. So you will be a wizard at using it. So the first thing I want to cover is actually how you get it. Now, a lot of people don't really know how to get it. So by default, it won't be here. The way you actually want to go ahead and get it is you need to go down to the little settings cog at the bottom. And there's actually a section called community plugins. Now you'll have to turn it on. At first it will be turned off. So what you want to do is you want to click on the browse section on the community plugins. And you want to type in X K L draw like that. And it should come up here. So you can click on this and you'll be able to click install. And then it should install onto your obsidian. Now, if you want to look here, it shows you all of the different features that they actually have inside of the software, inside of the plugin. So you can have a look at this if you'd like to. Now, once you've clicked install, you're going to have to go down into your community plugins again, and you're going to have to turn it on here. So I've turned it on and now it's ready to go. So to gain access to use it, if you're on a normal file, for example, you just have to go over here onto the left hand side and then go down to the create new drawing section. Cool. So this is what it looks like um, to start with. So it also says type Excalibur draw in the command palette, explore the obsidian menu in the top right. So if we go to the command palette, we can put that in. So to do that, we want to go across here to the left and open here. And we want to type in X Calid Draw. And basically, this is a list of every single different feature that you can use on here. So you can export images, you can insert any file. Just look through here, really, and this will give you all the different things that you can do with it. So, yeah, if you need any of those, you can give those a go. So the next thing it's asked, it's telling you to do is on the top right, um, you can explore the menu. So if we go to the top right, we can see the insert any file, we can see the library, we can see the lock, and we can see the hand tool. Now the basics of this plugin are as follows. You can at the top use any of these different tools. So I'll start from the top. This is just the click and point one. It's um, pretty self-explanatory. You can just click, point, drag to copy stuff. Over here we have the, I guess you call it a uh, rectangle tool and it allows you to create rectangles of any size as you can see there. And you can see they're nice like sketched up style, they look really cool. We have the diamond tool here and we have the circle tool here. Then we have the arrow, so what we can actually do if we see these tools here, when I hover over this box for example it's going to highlight it and if I click here it's going to create an arrow from that section and I can create it to here like that. I can tap there and it's going to do that. Now, as you can see when I was doing that, there was like a little curve in it. So what you can do is you can go here and you can tap it somewhere, like tap it in, you know, click there. And then that will allow you to add a like pivot point. So you can see here I'm adding like pivot points and I can click there and there it's going to finalize that so now it's all squiggly and cool and i can actually go in here and you can see i can actually change the path of the the arrow pretty cool same here we have the line tool now the line tool is less interesting we can curve it up like this we can change where the curve is it's just the line tool but yeah it's pretty it's pretty um pretty cool so yeah Next thing we have, which is probably one of the top features in here, is the pen tool, so you can draw here. Now, a lot of people are going to use this for writing text, so we can say, uh, let's say, add one. And you can see it's really cool, the way it looks, so add one. Now, if you go quick with it, the line's going to be thin, but if you go slow with it, you can see the line is a lot thicker. So it does have some reactivity in it. Next, we have the text tool so we can either click there or we can I believe we can click and oh no we can't click and drag we can just click but we can click and then we can type in something hello world and you can see it has this really cool font which makes it look um cartoonish you could say and we can put that in here like this 
Over here, we can add an image. We click on that, insert an image. We have the eraser tool here. So if we do, we can erase things with it. Now with the eraser tool, you can't like cut through things. It will erase the whole object. So you can't like use it to like, you know, cut parts of an object. It will erase the whole thing. Lastly, over here, we have the more tools section. So we have the frame tool. So if you want to create a frame for like a concept, say we can call this concept one, we can add the frame around it and we can rename this to concept one like that, for example. Next, we have the web embed. So we can click and drag to create a website embed. So let's create here. What we do is we'd paste the link in here and it's going to give you a preview of it right there. So it's very cool. I'll show you that now. So in here, I'm just going to paste this, which is the channel, which is our channel here. And I think I've clicked a video here, so it doesn't actually work, but it basically allows you to embed a video, embed a website into there. So if I wanted to, I could do Google, for example, google.com. And I think it's not working because I need to add, add the actual HTTP. There we go. So now you can see it works. It has it works right there. And I can resize this to make it bigger, make it smaller, etc. Pretty cool. And then if I want to, I can just click and uh, interact with it. There we go. So the next section we have is laser pointer. So this is if you are this is if you're doing sort of a presentation, you can, you know, do like these arrows, for example, and it's going to fade away, but it allows you to give a visual representation of what you're doing as you're doing it. So that's a pretty cool feature there. Text to diagram. These are some AI features. So um, it allows you to type in something and it's going to give you a diagram out. So let's say we want to do a workflow or a flow chart. So create a chart for feeding my dog. Uh, I'll generate this. Okay, so that I haven't actually put my open AI token in. Um, you have to be put your open AI token in there. So you can once you get that and put it in there, then you'll be able to do it. Um, they have this, which is essentially, it's like a way of, it only does flowcharts and sequence diagrams, but it's a, a basically a way of turning this kind of text here into a nice diagram like this. So it allows you to turn their, what they call mermaid syntax into a cool diagram. So it looks pretty cool. Lastly, they have wireframe to code. Um, yeah, it's, uh, Pretty self-explanatory, but again, we need the OpenAI code to be installed in there for it to work. But that is basically the basics of how to use this tool. One more thing you can do is you can select things like this. You can right click on them. You can, you know, add to library, change the direction of them. You can copy it to a clipboard. You can export it. That's just by right clicking on it. So there's a ton of things you can do, but this is basically the basics of how to use it. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it was helpful so other people can also watch the same video and get the same advice. Thank you for watching.